Hi, so today we're going to be talking about um, patients that, women who come in with menstrual pain, abdominal pain, or sometimes they just have a lot of stomach pain and swelling. And what we do is acupuncture for this area to help reduce the swelling, reduce the cramps, um, and create less pain for, for them through this time of the month. Okay, so we're also going to be doing some stomach points for menstrual pain, abdominal swelling, or any cramping. Okay, so you've now seen the demonstration of how we treat people with menstrual pain, abdominal pain, swelling, or um, any kind of abdominal pain during their time of the month for women. For thousands of years, Chinese herbs and acupuncture have been the primary form of health care for millions in Asia. Yet here in the United States, they're still considered alternative. The major criticism is that acupuncture is unproven. and. Um, uh, the problem is that in China they do studies on acupuncture and it is proven to uh, adequately in Asia, but those studies aren't accepted in North America by the American Medical Association. Um, All right, Malika, why don't you lay down? Still, every year thousands of people like Malika Umberger wind up seeking unconventional care out of desperation. When I would go to the Western doctors, they were trying everything they knew, but, but it wasn't getting rid of the pain, and that was the main thing I was concerned about. Okay? Uh-huh. Malika was having severe pain from a disease called endometriosis. The only cure traditional medicine had to offer her was surgery. Right. As soon as the surgery was done, there was still pain, and it was just as bad as it was before the surgery. So the next thing they told me, I was very frustrated, and they were probably frustrated too because it wasn't being solved. And the next thing they told me was I could take shots to put me through menopause. And I was only 20 at that time, and menopause to me was ridiculous. As a last resort, she sought the help of Julian and Susan Langa at the Meridian Center. When you're out of balance, then you either get pain, which is... Um, it's like a biofeedback mechanism. If you're in pain, there's something going on that's wrong inside. And it may not just be physical, it may be emotional or spiritual.